I write poems for kids that are too afraid. often get asked, are you a boy or a girl? Because they are the only ones who will understand the physical rush of empowerment versus discouragement in their guts. The question that verifies you have finally broken gender norms, unhuman, floating in unearthly genderless celestial bodies. Are you a boy or a girl? Only to hit the ground faster than falling stars when told you better fucking start acting like it. I write poems for kids who have a bird cage for ribs and, fi and a fish for a heart, raised on its ability to fly. Look, kid, you gotta learn how to swim away because you'll be questioned by bird keepers until the day your veins are able to run upstream. You'll leave the closet to only join the zoo, so enjoy the field trips and the bears and the otters and learn to question the birds and the bees. It's okay to only want birds on birds and bees on bees. <laughs> Ain't no. And it's okay to want to stay far away from it as possible to think about sex at 16 and keep that sweet composure. One day the reflection on the glass isn't going to match the second grade smile behind it. Frame yourself however you may choose. It's okay to have purple hair. We all make mistakes. Don't feel guilty for being too scared to tell your mother. Your whole life, people have been trying to build you in the wrong direction. They aren't going to understand what it feels like to simply just wear eyeliner. I understand, it's war paint. Or the kind of questions you'll get, you'll get all afternoon. Are you a boy or a girl? Your identity is not polarized. Gender is a spectrum, not just a penis. There's shade between the seven colors I fit in. Recognize you'll be lonely eight days of the week. There's no one like you at home or at school or at work, so step out of frames. Look at bigger pictures. Every hallway is your catwalk. Every shoe can be your empire state stiletto. Every slug, faggot, slur is compliment to the human anarchy inside your bones. Your human anatomy match with the way your mind thinks. It is one of the greatest forms of activism. And if you ever go through an emo phase, be the baddest god child you can be. I write poems for kids that fall between boy and girl. I write poems that I wish I heard as a kid to tell kids to keep fighting. Even though the war is not yet won, there's victory in every battle you, you tried.